Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to need, in order to make your own exploding bottle target, funnily enough, a plastic bottle. Make sure it's a fizzy drinks bottle, a carbonated drinks bottle, and not a still drinks bottle, because they are not designed to take the pressure and will pop prematurely. So, fizzy drinks bottles only. You're going to need some form of powder. I'm using uh, self-raising flour here. You can also use cornstarch, talc, icing sugar, athlete's foot powder, whatever, something powdery. You're also going to need a funnel in order to get your powdery stuff inside your plastic bottle. You're also going to need some silicone sealant. Here I'm using Tommy Walsh's Finest from Poundland. You're also going to need a nail. You're also going to need a football inflator needle available from eBay or sports ship shops for about a pound. And you're going to need some form of pump. There's a bicycle pump, car foot pump, some means of generating 100 psi to inflate your bottle. Right, yo, the first job is to heavily score the bottle cap. The silicone sealant doesn't stick too well to the bottle cap itself, so you need to take your nail and heavily scratch as much as you can on the inside of the cap. Once you've done that, heat up your nail and make a hole through the bottle cap just to fit the needle valve through. Don't make it too big, just so it fits through nicely. Okay, once you've done that, you need to take your silicone sealant, I'm using Tommy Walsh's Finest, and you need to apply around about a four or five mil layer around the bottom. Perfect. Now, you need to just leave that to dry for 48 hours, and we will be ready for the next step. Okay, after 48 hours, our silicone sealant is fully cured and quite hard. Perfect. But it's still quite delicate. And so we need to make the hole for the needle to pass through. So take a sharp knife and carefully push it through the middle and out of the hole on the other side. This is so that when we actually do push through our needle valve, it doesn't tear the silicone. Apply some oil or some soap to the needle itself, so you can then pass the needle carefully through and out the other side. Perfect. So, when we actually inflate the bottle and withdraw the needle, the silicone sealant will close after the needle and contain the pressure. This cap is now ready. And finally, the last thing to do is put some powder in your bottle. Take a funnel, take your powder, tip your powder inside the bottle. I'd recommend at least an inch, maybe two, to create a great big cloud. Fantastic effect. And then you're ready for the range. Right folks, we're here at the range and it's time to inflate our bottle. Here's our uh, cap that we've made and our bottle. I'm gonna screw the lid on. Okay, and now we take our inflation device and um, you can use a car foot pump, a bicycle pump, any means of generating 100 psi. I have a pressurized cylinder here which I've regulated to 100 psi. So with the tire valve, just give it a bit of a lubrication, insert it inside the bottle and inflate. As you can see the bottle's full of flour, it's getting harder and harder. Up, so that's 100 psi. I'm going to turn off the bottle. That's just the bleed from the bottle, and there we go. 100 psi inside a bottle full of flour, ready to shoot. Shoot that! 